Hi and welcome to HelpYourMath.com and today's videos will be covering logarithms. Now two important facts we have to know before uh, solving anything with logarithms are that there are two forms we can work with when dealing with logarithms and the first of the forms are logarithmic form. And in logarithmic form we have a log with a base, a term and a solution. And when transforming something from log form to base form or vice versa, these values remain the same from one to the other. They easily exchange over. So when transforming a log form to a base form, the base term becomes the base of the exponential term. Uh, the solution of the log is the exponent of the base form. And the term that we're taking the log of is the solution to the base form. Now here we have a series of five problems and the first problem has log base 4 of x is equivalent to 3 in which we're trying to solve for x which is the base of, no not the, the base, the term of the logarithm. And to do this what we're going to do is we're going to use the base form by transforming this log form to base form. So transforming this log form we take the base of 4 and make it the base of the base form expression. So the 4 becomes the b term which is just 4. The 3 here becomes the x term in the base form, which is the exponent, 3. And the x here, the term, is actually going to become the solution to the base form, which is just x here. Now 4 to the third power is 64, and that's our solution for the term x in the logarithmic expression. Moving on to the second one, we have a similar expression where we're looking for the x term, the term itself of the log. So here we have just log of x is equivalent to negative 3. Sorry I had the number there. The reason why there was a 10 there before was because whenever we see a log without a base it automatically becomes 10. Alright? And anytime you see a logarithm without a base defined we define the base as 10 because it's in decimal form. So it's in a decimal base of 10. So to solve this expression we're going to do the same routine we did up here where we take the base, we make it the 10, the base, the solution is the exponent, and the term is the solution to this base form. Here we see we have 10 to the negative third power. This becomes 1 over 10 to the third. And this then becomes 1 over 1,000. And that makes x equivalent to 1 over 1,000, or it could be 0 0.001. Either one of these answers are acceptable, depending on what your solutions have available, all right? Let's move on to the third problem in the series of logarithms. And we have log of base x of 1,000 is equivalent to 3. Now, unlike the other two problems here, our base term is x. So we're going to put x to the third power, which is the solution, and set it equal to the term here, 1,000. And to solve this, we just take the cubic root of both sides, cubic root of x to the third power, cubic root of 1,000, and we get x is equivalent to 10. The cubic root of 1,000 is just 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So there we go. Part 4 of this series is going to be log of base x of 81 over 16 is equivalent to 4. So our first step again, take the base. Take the, ex the solution of the log. Make it the exponent. Take the term and set it to the solution. Now what we're going to do is take the fourth power root of both sides. What's the fourth power root of 81? Well, how do we make 81? 81 is 9 by 9, right? And 9 is 3 by 3. So another 9 is 3 by 3. 81 is 3 to the fourth power. About 16, that's 4 by 4. And 4 is 2 by 2. So that's 2 to the fourth power. This is called uh, prime factorization, right? Use that to figure out your roots. It makes it a lot easier. So here we have x is equivalent, the cubic, the fourth power root of 81 is going to be 3, right? The base is just 3. The fourth power root of 16 is just 2. So our solution for x is 3 halves, all right? And here for part e, we have 2 times the log of base x of 4 over 25 is equivalent to negative 4. This is a particularly interesting problem because the first thing we have to do before we could change from log form to base form is make sure that we have a 1 in front of the log and the base here before we begin. So our first step here is going to be to get rid of that 2 and to get rid of the 2 we're going to divide both sides of the equation by this 2. So we're going to have 2 log base x 
4 over 25 equals negative 4, and we're dividing each side by 2. The only thing that gets affected on the left side is the front number, which becomes a 1. So as a result, what we're going to get is the log of base x of 4 over 25 is equivalent to negative 2. All right? Now this makes this a lot easier to work out through. So now we have x, the exponent base, the base, the exponent, and the solution. So we have x, negative 2, equals 4 over 25. And now what we're going to do is we're going to revert this to its original form because it's in um, a negative exponential term. So we have 1 over x to the second equals 4 over 25. And we're going to invert both sides because we have a solution, we have the, ex the term here that we want to solve for. And since we have direct proportions now, two fractions equal to each other, we can invert them both. So we get x squared is equal to 25 over 4. We could divide this by 1, but anything divided by 1 produces the same result. So now all we have to do is take the square root of both sides. Taking the square root of both sides, we get the square root of x squared is equivalent to the square root of 25 over 4. So now we have x is equivalent to 5 over 2. And that's our solution for the part E of this.